up with our um, good morning song. What animals or what would you find on a farm? So be thinking of that. And this morning, I do not have Collins with me. She is not with me this morning, but um, I'm, I'm gonna sing Good Morning Dancers since I can't say all of your names. But remember, when we sing our Good Morning song, you sing your name um, in the place of um, dancers when I'm singing, all right? Are you ready to get started? Make sure you have a blanket or a lovey on this cuddly morning. It's a rainy morning, so it's a perfect um, time to cuddle up and we have some great stories, so we're gonna get started. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Good morning, dancers. Good morning, dancers. Let me hear you say your name. Good morning. There you go. How are you? Let's sing it one more time, okay? Here we go. Good morning. I hear you. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, dancers. How are you? Awesome job. We'll find a cuddly spot. We are going to first start off with the, a book about waking up on the farm. So this is our first book. It's called Waking Up. And I want you to be a, a big thinker this morning. And I want you to think about on a farm, who or what wakes up everybody on a farm. Hmm. Let's talk about some animals we might see on a farm. Can anybody share with me animals that you might see on a farm? Let me hear you. What animals might we see? Oh, someone said it. A cow. Look what I have here. You might see a cow. What else might you see? Oh, I heard it. Who said pig? Raise your hand if you said pig. Pig, look at my pig there. All right, so we have a cow and a pig. What else? Oh, a horse, I heard you, good job. Okay, so I have a cow, a pig, a horse, what else? What about this one? Oh, what is this one? Let me hear you. It is a chicken. If you said chicken, give me a thumbs up. All right, good job. Okay, what about this one? Sheep, good. And what about this one? There's our goat. Now let's think about this. We have all these animals. Who takes care of all these animals? You're right, the farmer. So we can't forget about our little farmer guy. So this morning we're gonna read a book and you're gonna have to make the noise that the animal makes. Give me a thumbs up if you can do that. All right, so our book is called Waking Up. All the animals on the farm. It gives us a clue right here. Who do you think is gonna be the one that wakes everybody up? The rooster wakes up. I wanna hear everybody say, cock a doo Good job. The cow wakes up. Let me hear everybody say it. Moo, moo. Look, who's over here? Let's see what the author does with our picture. The pig wakes up. What's the pig say? Oink, oink. Now we have the rooster, the cow, what do you think the next page is gonna show? Who's gonna join these friends over here? I think you're right. <gasps> the horse wakes up! Nay, nay! And look over here, now we have the rooster, the cow, the pig, and I want you to look at what's happening to our son. In the beginning of our story, let's take a look at what this author did. Look at the sun, what the sun's doing. Just peeking over. Now let's see what it's doing here. A little bit more. A lot more. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Look at, the, look at this wage. The sun's coming up. Who do you think is going to be next? Let me peek. 
I don't know if you'll guess this one. The turkey wakes up. Gobble, gobble. Look at all the friends. What do you think they're saying? Good morning, friends. <gasps> the sheep wakes up. What does sheep say? Ah, ah. Good job. The duck wakes up. Look where that sun is now. Quack, quack. <gasps> and the chick wakes up. How many of you liked that story? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that one. That is one of our favorite books around here. My kids love to make those noises. So the next thing we're gonna do, are you ready for the next thing? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sing a song about speckled frogs. Now I have all these frogs here and they're sitting on a log. So I want you to sing along with me if you know this song. Okay, and I also want you to stand up. Can I see everybody stand up? Stand up. And I want you to show me how to hop like a frog. What does a frog look like? Let me see you hopping like a frog. Can I see you hopping like a frog? I see you, good job. Yes, up and down and up and down, good job. All right, so we're gonna sing our song and when one of our frogs leaves, you hop like a frog. Are you ready? Here we go. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, how many frogs do I have now? Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. Show me four on your hand. Good job, awesome. Now, I hope that you all jumped away. Let me see your hops. Hop away into the water. All right, now we're gonna start with four. Here we go. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. <gasps> One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, how many frogs do we have now? Can you help me count them? Ready, here we go. One, two, three. Show me three with your fingers. Three, good job. Now we have three speckled frogs. Now let's think, what does a frog eat? You are right. Frogs love flies and they have very long tongues that get the flies. So let's sing about these three, ready? Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. <gasps> One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. How many do we have left? Now there are two green speckled frogs. All right, here we go. <gasps> two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. <gasps> One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now how many do we have? <gasps> now there are one green speckled frog. Now he's all by himself. What do you think he's gonna do? Hmm, let's see. <gasps> one little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. <gasps> one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, how many do I have left? No green speckled frogs. Good job, give yourself a round of applause. You did awesome. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a scavenger hunt. Are you ready? I need you to stand up, and today you're gonna have some very interesting things to find. So I want you to be a good listener, okay? I'm gonna set our timer, and you're gonna have some time to go and find the items and come running back. Now, give me a thumbs up if you are ready. Are you ready to go? I think you can do this. Moms and dads and grandmas, there might be an interesting item they have to get um, today, but they can put it in a baggie or um, keep it in the kitchen if you want to. <laughs> okay, so on your mark, you, you are going to go get a hairbrush. Are you ready? 
On your mark, get set, go! because we're gonna need it in a minute, okay? So your next object to go and get, put this to the side, good job on finding a hairbrush. The next thing you're gonna go get is, get ready, your hands are gonna be cold. I need you to go and get a piece of ice. Are you ready? Get set, go! talking about that in just a second. So if you can, let's set it next to your hairbrush, okay? All right, I need you to go get one more item. Can you run as fast as you can? Give me a thumbs up if you can. All right, on your mark. I need you to get a pillow. On your mark, get set, go! talking about words that describe something. Those are called adjectives. If you were a kindergartner or first grader or second grader, you probably know that word. But if you haven't gone to school yet, you're gonna learn it today. It's called an adjective. So I want you to get your pillow first. Let's get our pillows and let's feel our pillows. Let's toss them up in the air. What would be some words that I could use to describe my pillow? Let's think. Miss Lindsay's pillow is white, so I could describe it with the color. What color is your pillow? Let me hear you. Okay, I heard a lot of colors. Let's feel our pillow. What are some words that you could describe about how your pillow feels? I heard squishy, fluffy, good. What are some other ones? Ooh, someone said light. It does feel light. It's not very heavy, is it? All right, and it's so soft. It helps you sleep very well. I want you to put your pillow to the, the side and let's get out our piece of ice. Think about what would some describing words be for your ice? Hmm, cold or freezing, good. What are some other words? My ice is kind of hard. How about yours? Whew. My hands are cold. It's kind of small. What else? Yes, you're right. So it's frozen. So let's put it to the side and let's get our hairbrush. Think about a hairbrush. What is a hairbrush? Is it soft like our pillow? No, it's hard. What about this part? It's kind of spiky. Would you want to take a little nap on your hairbrush? Probably not. So these are called adjectives. We are describing the way that these objects feel. So we're gonna do a little chant. And this is a new chant. So Miss Lindsay has her paper here. And I want you to use your hands. 
because we're going to describe and the poem or the chant is called this is big so we're going to say this is big and i want you to hold your arms out really big this is small 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 put your hands together small 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 this is short 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 this is tall 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 good job this is fast 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 this is slow 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 this is yes 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 this is no 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 can you do it with me all right i want you to stand up Let's describe with our hands. Are you ready? Here we go. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, 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 fast as your hands can go. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Good job, you did awesome. I'm gonna read you a book today and I want you to be thinking about the describing words that they're using. This is one of our favorite books in my house. This book is called I'm As Quick As A Cricket. So I want you to think, how are they describing this cricket? Crickets are pretty fast. I know when I've tried to catch them before, they hop away really quickly. So the author used quick to describe the cricket. Are you ready? I want you to snuggle up with your blanket and get your loveys, because we're gonna read about these animals and how did the author describe them? All right, so this book is called, I'm as quick as a cricket. I'm as slow as a snail. Oh, look at this one. I'm as small as an ant. He is very small. Look at him standing there next to the ant. Oh, I'm as large as a whale. I'm as sad as a basset. My kids always say, Mom, what's a basset? And a basset is this type of dog right here. Look at his eyes. He kind of looks sad. <gasps> I'm as happy as a lark. <gasps> I'm as nice as a bunny. I'm as mean as a shark. Show me your mean face. Oh, that's a good mean face. <gasps> I'm as cold as a toad. Look at him up here. He's cold. <gasps> I'm as hot as a fox. I'm as sweet as a kitten. I'm as strong as an ox. Look at those big muscles. He's helping him. I'm as loud as a lion. How many of your mom and dad say, you are being so loud? I know, I say that all the time. So sometimes kids are loud like lions and mommies and daddies need you to be, I'm as quiet as a clam. Look, there's the clam, the clam is inside. Look at the little boy, he's under the water. I'm as tough as a rhino. I'm as gentle as a lamb. I'm as brave as a tiger. I'm as shy as a shrimp. I'm as tame as a poodle. Look, he's using his very best manners. And there's the poodle sitting in the chair. <gasps> I'm as wild as a chimp. How many of you like to be wild? Yes. My kids do too. I'm as lazy as a lizard. Look at that lizard. I'm as busy as a bee. Put it all together and you've got me. Good job. 
Did you like that story? It talks about all the different ways we can be. Sometimes we're quiet. Sometimes we're loud. Sometimes we're shy. Sometimes we're brave. Sometimes we're weak. Sometimes we're strong. You guys, this is a challenge for you. I want you to think about a word that describes you. Now, I asked Collins, and Collins said, Mom, you're sweet. So I thought to myself, hmm, I'm as sweet as a, hmm, what is something that is sweet? So here is your story time challenge for this coming week, okay? I want you, you can post it on our Instagram or our Facebook and hashtag the KJ Way um, and KJ Dance, but this is your story time challenge, okay? Are you ready? I want you to think of you, something that describes you. Sometimes you can be silly. Sometimes you can be shy. Sometimes you can be quiet. Think of a word that describes you, and you're going to make something that looks like this. This is what Miss Lindsay did. I put my name at the top and I want to see your name. If you can't post it anywhere, just bring it next week to story time because I want to see. I want to learn about all the friends that are on with us. So I did. I'm as sweet as a cookie and I drew a chocolate chip cookie here. Okay, so this is your job for this week. Uh, next Wednesday, I want to see your name at the top. And I want you to think about a word that describes you and use it in a simile. I'm as blank as a, hmm, can you do that for me? Give me a thumbs up if you can. All right. Well, we are going to get started on our next activity, and it is talking about our sounds. So I want you, everybody to sit up really straight, and I need to hear you singing with me and telling me the letter that you see because it's very important that we know our letters and the sounds that they make. All right, are you ready? Here we go. A, 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 let me hear the sound. A, 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 good job. B, 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 B. Here we go. C, C, D, 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 E, 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 F, F, G, 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 G. Do you feel that one in your tummy when you say that sound? You should. H, H. Can you feel your breath? Good job. That means you're saying it correctly. I, 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 J, 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 K, 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 L, L, U, 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 M, M, Mm, mm, mm. Good job. In, in, mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. You can do that one. Do that again with me. Ah, ah, ah. Good job. P, 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 P. Q, Q. R, 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 S, 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 S. Good job. I heard a lot of snakes out there. T, 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 T. U, U, A, A, A. V, V, mm, mm, mm. How many of you that tickled your lips when you did V? That means you're doing it right. Good job. W, W, wah, wah, wah. X, 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 X. Y, Y, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Z, 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 Z. Good job. 
Give yourself a pat on the back. You did awesome. It's so important that we talk and learn our letters and listen to those sounds. All right, I'm gonna read you one last book and it's about a baby who likes to boogie. So before we do, I want you to stand up and I want you to show me your best moves, okay? I wanna see all your best moves. Stand up and let me see you shake it. Oh, I see some shaking. Let me see you shake it. Oh, there you go. Good job. I see some other kids shaking it. Good job. Awesome. Who else is shaking it? Oh, yeah. Good job. Let me see you shake it. Good job. We are going to read this book, and it's called Baby Loves to Boogie. Are you ready? And then we're going to wrap up our time together. Baby loves to boogie. Let me see you boogie. Can you shake it? All right. Who loves to boogie? Oh, the apes can orangutango. Oh, and the sloths like to slow dance. The kangaroos can boogaloo. And the flamingo can flamingo. Look at those high heels on that flamingo. <gasps> the chicks can do kicks. And the toucan can can can. <gasps> but who loves to boogie? There are jitterbugs and a jump jiving whale. Look at that whale with a little bow tie. There's a hip hop hippo and a mole who can dig it. There's a cha-cha chihuahua and an electric slide. But who loves to boogie? The woodpecker may tap. And the ants may line dance. <gasps> the jellyfish will jam. Let me see you jam. Let me see you jam, 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 jam. And the rattlesnake will shake. But who really loves to boogie? Uh, baby loves to boogie, woogie, woogie. Let me see you boogie, woogie, woogie. Did you like that book? My kids love that book. All right. Well, boys and girls, we are so glad that you joined us this morning for story time. I have a surprise for you. I want you to sit down and get very now, many of you know that we have not been able to go to dance class because we have to stay safe and stay at our home. So we've been taking class at home. How many of you raise your hand if you have gotten on a Zoom dance class and danced? Yes, good job. Now, it's okay if you haven't, but I want you to try it because you may just love it so much that you have to get on several Zooms. And is that okay? Is it okay if you take combo one and you wanna try hippity hop? Of course it is. Is it okay if you are rhythm and rhyme and you wanna try combo one? Of course it is. It's okay, this is a great time to try some new classes, look and see who's teaching what class, maybe try a new teacher, but I have a surprise for you. We have ordered costumes for all the dancers. And unfortunately, we can't do the big show like we were going to do. But I want to tell you a secret. You are going to get to wear your costume. And there is a special performance coming soon that you're going to get details about on April 
28th. So I want you to tell mom and dad to be checking their emails, watching out for social media for KJ because we are going to announce the final bow celebration and it is going to be awesome and you are going to get to perform and you're going to get to wear your costume so it's just going to be a little bit different that this year but that's okay we're going to have fun and make it work all right and we are going to be so excited especially miss Lindsay, to see all of you guys dancing away all right so until next time i want you to remember you have some homework Remember, you are going to think about something that describes you and you're going to create. This is your story time challenge for this week, all right? Give me a thumbs up if you can do it. Awesome. Well, I wanna give you a sneak peek of the books we're gonna read next week. How many of you have ever read a Spot book? Spot is one of our favorites. And then here's another one that we're gonna read next week. Animals should definitely not wear clothing. And look at this porcupine. So join us next week, nine o'clock on Wednesday mornings. And I can't wait to see you. Let's sing our goodbye song and you guys make it a great day. All right, here we go. Get your lovies, get your blankie. All right, here we go. Goodbye dancers, goodbye dancers. Goodbye dancers, have a great day week one more time <gasps> goodbye dancers goodbye dancers goodbye dancers have a great week until next time see you soon <laughs>